That's all we're going. This will be my last high risk stealth camp in Australia on a roundabout. It's gonna be my birthday special. It's gonna be my 2000 subscriber special. And then next week, we're flying to Asia. That's us, let's go. Hello. Thanks for picking me up. so much for dropping me off. Perfect. All right guys, we made it. We're by the Hungry Jacks, right by this roundabout, which is our target location tonight. First, I'm gonna go over to the petrol station, try to find us a bottle of Pepsi. And uh, yeah, then we'll run onto this roundabout, see if we can find somewhere to camp, see if we can find somewhere to lay low, see if we can survive the night. Let's go. No Pepsi. I won't let the bread to not do it now. Crazy. Boom, got us some Mountain Dew. Time to run onto the roundabout. Let's do this. Boom, thank you very much. We just got some Hungry Jacks. Oh, it's starting to rain now. All right guys, when you're crossing onto roundabouts, the best way to approach a roundabout is actually to, where the on-ramp is, come to the center of the on-ramp. And so then all you gotta do is dash all the way across to the roundabout there. It's all we're going. That's us, we're just gonna smash through. We just smashed through, we're in. Far out guys, this is it. It's not as on as I thought, it's really overgrown. Far out, damn. Guys, I didn't know where to hang my hammock. I don't know, maybe in there or by one of these Norfolk pines. I don't know, but these palm frongs, man, they haven't been manicured, so they look really snaky. They look like they're full of spiders. And we got everyone going around the edge here. Ugh. Fire guys, this is not what I thought it was going to be like. Look at this ground. It's all snaky as. I don't know what to do, man. I'm in really soft stuff. I'm a little freaked out. I could probably hang my hammock from there to there. But I'm not liking this situation, man. Especially with being in Australia and spiders. But you can always run out there. And just across the road there is the Hungry Jacks, AKA Australia's Burger King. Ugh. All right, guys, let me think about this. I think the best thing is just to get set up and just do it. Guys, it's bucketing down out there. I'm gonna have to hang a tarp inside here and hang my hammock. And I also wanna keep my bag away from spiders and stuff. So I don't even want to put my bag on the ground, but I'm gonna have to get to it. We have to stay dry, stay warm. There's definitely a storm tonight. Hail the size of baseballs fell from the sky this morning. That just fell from the sky. I'm not joking. So there's definitely a front here. Definitely gonna need a tarp. All right guys, I put a wall tarp up like this. Now I'm gonna flare it out. I'm gonna hang the hammock on the inside. That's how we're gonna keep dry and safe. 
I'll put up on the screen right now our current location on Google Maps so you can get an idea of whereabouts on the roundabout we are. All right, guys, this is what we got so far. Got this wall covering the Hungry Jack side. And I'm probably just going to hang my hammock from there to there and maybe tighten it up a little bit more. And that's going to have to be us. And boom. I don't know if it can hold us. I'm going to have to do some adjustments. I'll just sit on it. Just, just, it's just holding us. I'm going to tighten up some bit more. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll enjoy a, a Whopper from Hungry Jacks, Australia's Burger King. Yeah, that's really saggy. It's making the roof sag. If we get a lot of rain, it's just going to pull up and start dripping on me. But hey, I'm not going to give up. We're staying here. This is my last HRS stealth camp in Australia, I think. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I'm definitely staying here. This is my 2000 subscriber special. This is my birthday special. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad that y'all came and watched this. This is exactly the same as it is in America. This is Hungry Jack's. When, when the Burger King franchise came to Australia, someone already had a, a company called Burger King, so they couldn't use the name. Uh, it was already registered. So they came up with the name Hungry Jack's, and that's what we're working with, man. That is what we're working with. Mmm. That is so good, man. This was well earned. 2,000 subscribers, birthday special, international stealth camping on a roundabout before we go to Singapore. This is well earned. Thank you for everyone who's followed along on my journey. Thanks for all the support. To all the members, to all the people who donated to my channel, subscribers, likers, commenters. This is a special episode for you. And we're going to Singapore next week. And then we're carrying on to Asia. And with, with Soldiers of Fortune, we're just going to do it till we go broke. Yeah. Mm. All right, guys, it just snapped. I had my bag and I sat in it and it just snapped. I actually broke a branch. Sorry, nature. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, don't know what we're going to do now. Can't sleep on the ground. So we're going to have to rebuild the camp. But it was nice to have a whopper. Fire out. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna like whip something up though. We can't, can't stay like this. All right guys, that's us. I just put a strap on the inside because it's so loose now because the tree broke and I just moved it from this branch that it was on to another branch there. And it looks pretty horrible. But you know, we just have to make do with what we got. Look, it's bucketing down with rain out there on this roundabout. We are under the cover of some trees. So we're doing all right. Hopefully this tarp keeps us dry. I just wanted to use this bungee to stop this flapping around because we can't have it touching the hammock here. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to put my bag back inside the hammock and uh, yeah it's getting darker now I don't even know what time it is but it's the best that we can do on this 2000 subscriber birthday special yeah hidden hammock on a roundabout international stealth camping Australia guys this has been a horrible experience but I think we're sorted the rain just eased for a moment so I'm just gonna set up my hammock for night mode put my bag inside check it for spiders and then we'll go for a little explore around the roundabout if it's still not raining and see if we can see in here see how stealth we are tonight see how well the hammock is hidden and uh yeah probably eat some lollies it's only 2:30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon i came here early there was a moment between the giant hail and the rain and I thought I might be able to get onto this roundabout without getting wet, but we did well. We got here, we set up, we broke the branch, our hammock was hanging off. We rejigged the hammock and the tarp, and man, we got hours to go. It's like 3.30, nearly four o'clock. Still got another two hours of sunlight. Let's set this up for night mode. 
and boom, that's us. That's how it's gonna have to be. Far out, guys. Looks horrible, but it'll make do, man. We got some really good coverage underneath here. We just need the tarp to hold that water back. And uh, yeah, hopefully we stay dry in the hammock. I'm gonna go out there now and have a look at the center of the island because it was raining before when we arrived. So let's break through and have a look, eh? Let's go. And bam, just in there is where we're camping tonight. And this is us. Look at this roundabout. We're in the center of the roundabout. This is where we at. We're on Port Kennedy Drive. And on the way to Secret Harbor Shopping Center. Secret Harbor, secret camping site, secret roundabout location. Flipping awesome. This is us. I'm really wondering if there was better locations to hide the hammock in there. But tonight, we're right underneath that tree there. Yeah, it looks pretty snaky in there. All right, guys, we still got hours to go. We've got more, like, we've got 13, 14 hours before we can leave here. And still, we might even stay longer than that if we can't get off the island in the morning because of the traffic. So in that corner right there, below that tree is where we're camping. Let's head in there now. Let's, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna watch Steve the Transit Camper. He's got his part two to his bike camp challenge out. And we're just gonna crash through here and show you where we're camping. Boom, that's us. And uh, you can't see us in here. And uh, yeah, if we go through to the other side in here, show you Hungry Jacks. That's Hungry Jacks right there. That is Australia's version of Burger King. And we're on a roundabout guys and I'm loving it. Birthday special, 2k subscriber special. And that's us. Oh, you can't see us man. We're good. All right I'm gonna relax for a little bit guys. Probably get everything lofting and get my bed ready for night mode. My sleeping bag out. That's us guys. Got our sleeping bag all wafting. Got my backpack inside. And uh, that's us. The best I can do for tonight. It's about five o'clock now. Probably got about half an hour of sunlight. Maybe 45 minutes. And then I'll be into the twilight zone. I, uh, it's getting pretty cold now. I'm gonna think about sticking on some thermal base layers now and uh, doubling up my trackies. Gonna have triple layers on the bottom, double layers on the top. I might get into my puffer jacket. Yeah, I really gotta keep warm tonight, guys. It's gonna get down to nine degrees and yeah, there's an 80, 90% chance of rain. It's eased off at the moment, but I feel like it's just the, the calm before the storm, especially after we had that giant hail today. Flipping crazy. Crazy day, broke broke a branch, had to rejig the hammock. Hasn't been a very successful camp, but we're gonna do the best we can. And hopefully we survive, and then we can focus on traveling to Singapore. I can't wait. The Australian chapter is nearly over. Yes. All right guys, that's us. Got my thermal base layers on, and I got base layers underneath here, a white shirt, a, a green shirt, my hat back on, and I really don't care what I look like. I'm not a materialistic person. If you've been following my channel for the last three years, I've been wearing the same clothes for the last three years. I do not give a f about materialistic shit. I wear the cheapest stuff into the ground. I've had the same bloody puffer jacket for three years. I buy $20 shoes, man. And I know they last me anywhere up to three months. And then I walk into the cheapest department store. I buy another pair and then I chuck this pair out. That's how we do it on this channel, man. We're all about the stealth camping and the adventures and not what we look like. Looks like everyone's just pulling up to the Hungry, hungry Jacks. 
I'm getting takeaways. Kids on bikes. Man, everyone's got those snorkels on their trucks here, man. I don't know if it's a fashion thing or a fad. Look, there's another one. They all have snorkels on their trucks like they like they have to go through rivers every day. It's crazy. I don't I don't believe them. I reckon it's just a fad, it's just a phase. I think it's just cool in Australia to have a bloody snorkel on your truck. Has they got one? Oh no. Nah. That was just one of them urban mums in an SUV. But yeah, everybody in Australia who has a four-wheel drive has a bloody snorkel on their bloody truck. It's crazy. And that's us guys behind that top is our pretty sketchy hair. There's a bloody nutty snorkel then. Bloody nutty snorkel truck. Should we just count snorkel trucks? Look, here's one coming down the road now. Bloody truck with a snorkel. I bet you, I bet you he had never been inside the river in his life. Look how shiny that truck was. Should we wait for another snorkel truck to go by? Wanna know what the price of gas is? That's per litre. Australian She's starting to rain again She's starting to rain again All right guys, I'm gonna slide into my hammock before I get too wet Oh, there's a bloody another snorkel truck there. Look look another truck with a snorkel Look at him and Boom, so we got one bottle of Mountain Dew and I'm so thirsty. My hammock is quite saggy today because I broke the branch. But uh, in here, I've got candy that I got from something innocuous. So let's. This is the first thing I pulled out. Let's start with the little bag of Haribo's Supermix. These are mini Haribo's. I'm very grateful. And if you've seen my video when I camped above a casino this is when I, I got that package from something innocuous and uh, I'm just gonna smash back some candy because I'm getting quite hungry and it's gonna be a long night so yeah let's rip into this a miniature milk bottle mmm what's this I think it's like a grape and cream guys we just broke again we just broke we just hit the ground Far out, man. Just snapped. Guys, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, man? They don't, they don't build the bloody tree strong here, do they? If this was New Zealand, it would never happen. Far out, we're on the ground now. No. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, man? I don't wanna fail this camp. Anyways, I'm gonna get up, put my shoes on, and investigate guys look at that that's the first one I broke and that's the second right there and that's what it looks like it snapped right down I don't know what to do man I don't know what to do maybe we just sleep like this maybe we just sleep like that I don't know man I can't think of any options without running around the outside edge of this roundabout getting exposed and trying to find a new location that spider fest Ugh. I don't know guys let me think about it I don't know what to do maybe I could just try get it a little bit off the ground and then put this rain cover underneath where I'm gonna be sleeping so the moisture doesn't come through my hammock and maybe we can just sleep on the ground with the spiders and the snakes I still got like I don't know 45 minutes of light left I can't believe it snapped twice what are the chances of that? I, I can't afford to get wet. These are the clothes I'm sleeping in. I'd already jumped into the, the hammock. I was just going to wait it out, edit some videos. <sighs> I'm going to have to just adjust it a little bit. Try to get a little bit off the ground and sleep on the ground like a bivy. Or half hanging. This is just horrible. But it's the way it goes. Yeah, hidden hammock. Far out. Maybe I can loop my hammock around a bit better. We'll figure something out. Let's do it. All right, guys, this just turned into the worst hammock hang ever. Look at this, man. Broken, broken. Now we're pretty much on the ground. I got nowhere else to camp. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I ain't giving up though. I've stuck this under here. So if I do touch the ground, at least I'll be touching this waterproof rain cover. Far out. Got my bag inside. This is for my shoes. This is what it looks like over here. That's the roundabout out there. That's the center of the roundabout. With a sign that you could probably obviously see before this roundabout was established and overgrown. And uh, that's us, man. Sun hasn't even gone down. We've still got another 12 hours of darkness to get through. And we're pretty much sleeping on the ground. This is whack. Look at this. Ah, this just turned into the worst hammock camp ever. Far out, guys. Everything inside me wants me to give up, but I'm not going to. We're staying here tonight with the spiders. Far out. Guys, it just snapped again. I'm on the ground. This is whack. I'm gonna have one more go at trying to hang this hammock from this end. If it can't be done, I don't know, I might bail. I don't know. No, I can't bail. This is my subscriber and birthday special. Anyway, I'm running out of light. All right, guys, we're going for, we're going for one more scout. Just lost my shoe. Wow. Cops just went past. Guys, I just walked around the island. I walked out blatantly right by a police officer car and a security car following behind it. They didn't even come back. They just kept going past. But this is whack, man. I'm gonna have a look at our camp. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take this camp down. If I can rejig it so my hammock is off the ground and I got a tarp over the top of me, before it gets real dark, then I'll stay. But yeah, if I can't, then I'm out of here. Guys, it's bloody pissing down now. I nearly rejigged it though. I nearly rejigged it. Just got a far out heavy rain. Just got to find some more bungee cords. Don't know where they're going. Oh, there they are. There's some. There's some bungee cords. All right, guys. This is it. I rejigged it. We survived that shower. I got a bit wet though. Far out. Now, here's the testing moment. Will, will it hold me? Is it gonna hold me? Maybe. It's holding me. Just. I'm gonna jump into the hammock, turn the light out, keep it stealth. Cause it's nearly nighttime. And a little bit wet now, I gotta warm up. Probably gonna take my bag out of here tonight. Just because I don't want it to collapse a third time, break another branch. Let's give it the best opportunity to survive the night. All right, guys, we are sagging, but as long as we don't snap, we're pretty much off the ground just. I'm already in my three layers. Got the survival bivy, which we'll need tonight because this hammock got damp on our third rejig. And I got a sleeping bag and a sleeping bag liner. I got some thermal base layers on and a pair of track pants. And then I got another extra two shirts on. I'm gonna sleep with this as my pillow and uh, we're all zipped up and uh, that's us tonight um, I can't have any more fails pray for me I just want to wake up and be successful <laughs> anyway now that the crisis is over and I'm feeling comfortable I just want to give a mad shout out to Bipolar Cornbread and the whole Cornbread family Thank you so much. You guys were the first ones to get official Stealth Camping Alliance tattoos. So, mad respect to the whole Cornbread family. I, uh, I really appreciate you guys getting SCA tattoos because tattoos are for life. And so is the SCA. So is the Stealth Camping Alliance. So thank you so much, Bipolar Cornbread. And thank you so much to the whole of your family. Mad respect. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Thanks, Lola. Mm. Couple little hearts. 
and little green men. Mm. I just got a message from my friend saying that I chose the worst night to go camping. She said there might be more hail tonight. It's going to get down to seven degrees. Some areas of Perth have been flooded and uh, yeah, expecting high winds. So I don't know if we'll last here tonight, guys. All we can do really is just eat candy and just wait it out. Mm. Guys, we just broke for the third time. I'm on the ground. It's dark now. I don't know, man. I'm just lying here on the ground. I guess we can stay a little bit longer, but if I start getting wet, far out, third branch, man. Flip an neck. That's the view. We're on the ground. I can see out onto the street now. Far out, guys. What do I do? I'm just lying here on the ground in the wet. I don't give up. Should I just try to go to sleep in a puddle? <laughs> Alright guys, we're lying on the ground now. That's the reality. I'm not going to give up. Just going to camp here tonight. But I just don't want any snakes to come. And because I'm warm, try snuggling underneath my hammock. So yeah. I'm going to eat this comfort food. I've been wanting to try these. This is all I got. Nah, I got more lollies from... But yeah. Shrimps and bananas, that's what I'm going to eat right now. And then uh, we'll probably go to sleep because I'm just going to sleep this one out. And yeah, it's been pretty miserable not being able to hang my hammock in a good position tonight. And now I'm on the ground, so let's eat these lollies. And uh, yeah, then I'm probably going to go to sleep. All right, boom. That's what we're working with. So... This looks like a shrimp right here. Check this out. Mmm. Oh my god, they're just like bananas. But they're like pink flavored. Same texture as bananas. And uh, yeah, I like them. Thank you so much. Something innocuous. Mmm. I love bananas. Mmm. Mm. So I want to give a shout out to all those people that have bought the new merch because the merch store is officially open now, guys. So yeah, if you want to get yourself some Stealth Camping Alliance gear, order it from the merch shop. There's a, probably a link below this video. It's probably a link in the description. There's the store tab, which is next to the community tab on my channel page. You can go to the Stealth Camping Alliance store and customize any of my designs, add your own logo, move the logo around, Make it bigger, smaller, add your logo, add like more words to your t-shirt or hoodie or whatever apparel you buy. So it's pretty cool. I've already seen some wicked custom designs. We might have to have like a, a custom design SCA merchandise competition or something. That would be pretty cool in the future. But yeah, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's already made a purchase. I already bought a $25 gift card that I'm going to give to one of the staff campers. Congratulations, Squib from 11 FQ Adventures. I'm sending you a $25 US gift voucher to spend at the Stealth Camping Alliance merch store. It should be enough to get you an apron sent to all the way to your house, but you're more than welcome to spend it on anything in the merch store, so long as you just keep representing the Stealth Camping Alliance. Thank you so much, Squib. Yeah. Even though I do make a small margin, I am going to give back to the other campers and the Staff Camping Alliance. I am going to give back to the fans. I am going to give back to the channel members. So yeah, please go and buy some merchandise. Represent the Staff Camping Alliance. And yeah, hopefully I can buy my own gear soon. But unfortunately, I'm leaving shortly to go overseas. And it wouldn't have arrived by the time I left. So hopefully when I get to a new destination and I know I'm there and there's enough time for me to buy my own merchandise, you'll see me rocking some Stealth Camping Alliance gear for sure. So yeah, the merch store is now open. All right, guys, it's after midnight. 
and uh, I'm going to try to get some sleep. I've had heaps of candy. Hopefully we can wake up, go live from this roundabout, or we might go live from Hungry Jack's where we can have some breakfast. So that's the plan, guys. I'm on the ground right now. Third time I set up my hammock and the branch has snapped. We'll investigate in the morning. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to sleep this one out and just pray that no snakes come up and cuddle underneath my hammock. I'm trying to keep warm in the winter because that's what they do. Uh, all right, guys. See you in the morning. Peace. Good morning guys, we made it, but man, that was horrible, there was more hail, rain, more branches broke, I slept on the ground, if it wasn't for the survival bivvy, my sleeping bag would have got wet, so I'm glad I used this, I'm glad I have this, but yeah man, worst case scenario man, Slept on the ground in a hammock. Uh, this is horrible. This is one of the most horrible camps I've ever been on. And it was meant to be special. <laughs> but yeah, even my top, even my top collapsed further down. I don't know what's going on, but we'll get outside and we'll investigate. And I just want to get off this bloody roundabout, man. This has been a horrible experience. I hope you enjoyed it. Far out. Got so cold last night. It was seven degrees. I'm meant to be escaping winter from New Zealand. Far out. Now all the birds are laughing at me. Anyway guys, I had enough man, I'm over it, I'm going to get out of my hammock, I'm going to pack everything up, try find all my bungee cords, because man I'm pretty sure I lost some last night, and uh, yeah, let's get off this roundabout and head over to Hungry Jack's, we'll do a live stream at Hungry Jack's, we'll have some breakfast, and we'll call this one a success, <laughs> alright guys, let's do this. this man look at this look at all those bungee cords collapsed some on the ground there this is just chaos man oh look at that i gotta get warm i gotta get dry guys we have one two three those are the three i broke but there's another one that broke man and that's why this one collapsed in the night. I heard it. Far out, man. This chaos just looks completely different to where I, when I arrived yesterday, man. Honestly, this was an open space. And now I can hardly move around in here. Look at this. Wow. This is where we slept last night. In there. All right, guys. Time to pack this up. Let's go. <laughs> and boom, just like that, we all packed up. We snapped that one, that one, that one, and then last night, that one snapped by itself in the wind. That was a widow maker. These ones I did trying to hang my hammock. But yeah, flipping crazy, guys. All packed up. This is my little dry spot. This is where I lay my back last night. That's it guys, we're all packed up. I picked up my rubbish. I'm gonna make my way back out to the middle of the roundabout and then we'll head over to Burger King. I mean, Hungry Jacks. I'm 
last lucky. Oh wow. So yeah guys, that's the widow maker that snapped the middle of the night. And there's my ones. Crazy y'all. And uh that's where we slept in there. Let's go. So I just want to give some advice for anyone who's thinking about stealth camping their first roundabout and maybe they're a little bit scared because it's high high risk situation I've shown you how to cross onto the roundabout safely if you're scared of people like crazy people maybe homeless or drug addicts or just weirdos go camping on a Monday night beginning of the week so it's not the weekend and go during a storm when it's raining because people are less likely to be hanging out in weird locations when it's absolutely raining and when it's really cold so yeah that's my advice to you if you're too scared to do that high risk spot that put yourself in that high risk situation or if you've never done a roundabout before because you're scared of crazy people or homeless people or drug addicts go on a Monday night and go during a storm it's the safest time to go you just got to be able to handle the weather conditions so that's some hidden hammock advice for you I hope you go out there and film your own roundabout staff camp I hope you go out and camp that high-risk location and uh, I hope you enjoy it because last night I didn't And that was us guys, we just did a live stream right from here. I just wanna say thank you so much to Jack Coffee for donating $20, Jay and Knight for becoming a channel member, and Crow from Tehran Studios. I forget your new camping channel name, Camping Relaxation and something, but I'll put it up on the screen and I'll put links in the comments. I just wanna say thank you to you guys for becoming channel members and donating during my live stream. And I wanna give a special shout out to PC for donating another $50 to the channel that's just flipping crazy. And I promise you in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna make you your very own camping video dedicated. We're about to leave guys, but I just won uh, a small Sunday. So yeah, I'm gonna to have to like redeem it on my way out, yeah. I'm so tired guys, my bag's all packed up. That's where we camped last night. And right now, it's time to end the episode of Hidden Hammock. Right now, it's time to go. We out. Do this. Just wanna thank Hungry Jacks for this free Sunday. It's been awesome. I'm gonna enjoy it while I walk in the rain. <sighs> guys, it's so cold. Raining, meeting my free Sunday, and I'm over it. Over it. It's time to get home, get into a hot shower, and yeah, I just want to fly to I just want to fly to Singapore and be in the warm, be in the tropics. But uh, yeah, thanks Australia. It's been a fun, fun journey. I loved it, and uh, yeah, man. Who knows? Who knows what adventures are coming in the future? That's where we're gonna seek refuge, guys. That bus shelter. Wait. 
Wait for a bus. It's not a snorkel truck. Goddamn snorkel trucks. They're everywhere. Ah. Oh. Cheers. All right, guys. That's where we camped last night on the roundabout next to Hungry Jacks. And uh, now we're in the bus shelter and we got 10 minutes to wait and we can jump on a bus and make our way back home. Oh, that's our free Sunday. Still trying to munch that. And uh, thank God there's a bin there. So I got 10 minutes to finish my Sunday, chuck the rubbish in the bin, and then hopefully the bus is warm. Ooh, can't wait. Thank you so much. All right guys, we're on the, the, the bus now. It's time to go home. Boom. We are on our way home. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs>